The magnification tool works like this. At the bottom of the tool palette, we can click on the magnifying glass, which is referred to as the zoom tool. So if I click and I drag with the mouse button held down, it's going to continue to zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in until I actually let go of the mouse button. Now me personally, I don't like the way that this works. If I click and drag, it comes in, it goes out, and it feels to me a little bit like a roller coaster. This isn't how I, how I personally prefer to use the tool. At some point in one of the versions, they turned on what's called scrubby zoom. So what this means is when I click and drag, it brings the image closer to me and it keeps scrolling in until I let go of the mouse key. I don't like that. So I'm going to click scrubby zoom to turn it off. So now I can click and I can create a marquee around an area that I want. And when I'm done, you know what it's gonna do? Go right to the area that I want. To me, that makes a whole lot more sense and I like that a lot better. Now that again is just me, but that's how I like to work. So now simply by clicking on the magnifying glass, it gives me this right here where I can click, I can drag, and I can zoom in. If I want to zoom out, I hit control zero on the keyboard. Again, control zero or command zero on a Mac. And that brings me to a fit to space window. Now another way to approach this is notice that the magnifying glass icon has a plus inside of it which means if I click once, it's going to zoom in, click again, it's going to zoom in, click again, it's going to zoom in, click again, it's going to zoom in. And wherever I put the cursor, it's going to zoom in to that point. However, this keeps zooming in. If I hold down the Alt key, it turns to a minus. And that allows me to zoom out with every click. Now, here is the plus. And if you don't want to push the Alt key, I'm not sure why, you're trying to learn a new skill here, hold down the Alt key, or you can click this button right there, and then that'll let you zoom out again. And it'll keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until you stop clicking. Anyway, Control-0 brings it back to fit to window size here, and I'm going to put it back to that, and then that allows me to zoom in and out of an image. Often when I zoom in on an image, I actually want to move around. Now when I want to move around, we're going to click on the hand tool. And the hand tool means I can click and I can drag and let go. Click, drag, let go. And basically you can click and drag and move this image around wherever you want it to go. Now at its most basic form, this is exactly how the tool works. If you wanted to go a little step further, you could go to Window Navigator, and that's going to open up this Navigator palette that allows you to click and move, and you can see the entire image, and then you can also see where you are within the image. Now, for me personally, I have a pretty good idea where I am in the image, and this has just added clutter to me, which is why I don't actually use it. But you could otherwise use this to zoom in and out, and that's basically how it works. Personally, I don't see a need for it, so I just close that, fit to screen, and use the existing tools of using the magnifying glass to zoom in and out. Or, if you have another tool selected and you're already zoomed in here like this, you can use the space bar, will turn it to a hand, so you can move it around. So it's very easy to work in a given area, and then use the space bar to then move over here, let go, work a little bit, click with the space bar, move it, let go, and work a little bit more. And then control zero will let you come out of it. And there you go. Now I've just shown you how to zoom in on an image and then change the hand tool and simply move around.